Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing I'll be doing a quick demo of how to do an export from your Dynamo DB table in AWS and how to also import it back. So before I get in, uh, jump right in. Please just uh, like and subscribe if you actually find this video to be useful. And let's go ahead and dive in. So once you're logged into your AWS console, we're going to go ahead and go to the DynamoDB service. And we're going to create a simple table here with one entry. So right here, I'm just calling uh, the table just test table. I'm going to set the partition key. And everything else I think can just be left as the default value. So just click on create table. And we're going to wait for this to be created. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, looks like it was quick. So let's go ahead inside the table and let's try to create an item here. Oh, uh, I selected the wrong thing. Okay, so basically we're gonna just add an entry into this table. And so it's just gonna be simple. It doesn't have to be anything, um, you know, just fancy, just, Let's add a couple of fields here to the item. And so the ID is going to be set to 1. I'm going to call the second attribute just data1. Put ABC as a value. I'll create another attribute called data2. And I'll just put a random value called, or just say, uh, of 25. So select on create item. And you're going to see here, um, if we go to explore items, you'll see the entry there. So as far as creating the table, um, I think that's all we really have to do. Now we can start testing on how to, or should not testing, but now we can go through uh, the steps on how to do an export. And how you do an export is going to be done through something called AWS Data Pipeline. It's a service by AWS that allows you to export from AWS DynamoDB to an S3 bucket. And you can also do an import from an S3 bucket back into your DynamoDB. So here you have to create a pipeline. And what we're going to do right now is, um, you know, just name the pipeline. So we're going to just call it, you know, test export one. And in this source section, select export DynamoDB to S3. And then now we're going to be selecting the name of the table that we want to export. This, in this case, it's test table. And then we're going to go to the S3 service and create the folder that we want the export to go to. So you can see here, um, I do have a folder or a bucket called export import demo. And within this, I'm just going to create another subfolder called export. And I'm going to go ahead and copy the, uh, the S3 location and there you go you can just paste it into the output s3 folder and basically what this means is that it's going to get the entries or the items within this test table and it's going to output it to i should say export it to this s3 folder location then here at the schedule section um, we're going to select run on pipeline activation you can actually schedule like a time date for this to run but we just want it to run basically as soon as we say so. So let's select on um, pipeline activation. And for logging, uh, it's optional. You don't have to set it, but uh, let's go ahead and just create this logs bucket folder within the export. And then we're going to put any, or we're going to just basically put that location or select that location here for the logs. And then at this point here, uh, we do have a couple of roles that we can select. You can see the pipeline role is empty and I do have something in the EC2 instance role but I'm going to just create a couple of roles from scratch just so you can see what is needed to or what you need to do to actually fulfill uh, the role. And just an FYI, you, if you create any role it just won't work. You need a roles with appropriate permissions to do this data pipeline export import. So we're going to be going to the IAM, Identity Access Management portion or service of AWS. And here 
we are going to select data pipeline for the use cases and then we're going to go ahead and select that first ready button called data, data pipeline then you can see here that it came with a per, uh, permission policy already for the data pipeline and then just clicking next uh, we can go ahead and just create the role name and so I'm just going to call it data pipeline role dash test and you can see there's the permission associated to it and now that it's created you can see that I can select that role within that pipeline role so we got one part finished now let's go ahead and start doing the EC2 instance role and we're going to create another role and go ahead and select EC2 in this service and then we're going to select just the first option EC2 right there and click next. Here we're going to type in data pipeline. We're going to search for the existing policies and we're going to select this one here called Amazon EC2 role for data pipeline role. So click next. Let's call this role. Let's see here. EC2 instance role pipeline test. So let's save this. Or should I say create the role? And now if we click that little refresh thing next to it, you'll see that that's another role that we can select now. So now we have our role selected. Let's click on edit in architect. And you can see here that there is a warning that says, um, terminate after is missing so some of these warnings will prevent you from running um, a pipeline to do the export this is one I don't think that does but you know if you wanted to solve it let's go ahead and just do that um, we can click on that EMR cluster for backup and at the bottom we're gonna add a terminate after and you can see here there's two options there's a select period and we're going to select um, basically 20 minutes, which basically means if this pipeline job takes longer than 20 minutes, then we're going to just stop it. So it's going to essentially time out. So if you click save, you can see here that it says that the save is successful and there's no more warnings. And it gives you the option to activate it, which I do. And now you can see that there's this pipeline job waiting for a runner so at this point you're just gonna have to wait back it's gonna take a few minutes um, so I'm just gonna hold off for now and essentially just wait for it to be complete you can see here that the job is now in a running state so it is picked up by a runner now you can see that it says it's finished so this means that the export was successful from the data pipeline and we can verify that by going into the S3 bucket where we said we wanted the export to go to. And if you see here now there is this folder created um, and then with the date and time and if you click inside there and you'll notice that there is a file that says success and then there's another file here with this long alphanumeric um, text or to say yeah basically text that is the file that contains the export so if you click on that and then you select download we can go ahead and open up this file on the PC and just use like notepad, wordpad, whatever uh, editor that you have and use And you can see here that is exactly the same data item that is created inside the DynamoDB. So if we go back to the test table that we created and uh, explore items, we can go ahead and see that the values there matches what we just exported into the S3 bucket. So that's how you do an export. And you can see this is successful. And yeah, this is half of the video. 
Okay, so now here for the import, we're going to create another table. And our, yeah, basically a test table. In this case, I just called it test table 2. You can see here that it's empty. There is no items inside here. So we're going to go ahead and work on importing back into the DynamoDB. So to do this, we're going to have to go back into the data pipeline service and create a new pipeline. Here, we're just going to call it test import 1. And then in the source section, we're going to select import DynamoDB backup from S3. Then just like in the export, it's going to ask you, ask you for a few things. One of them uh, being the location of where the uh, file you want to import from. So we're going to go into the export folder where we saw uh, that the pipeline exported to. And so let's just go here and select that. And then the target DynamoDB table name, you're just going to select uh, the table name that you just created. So in my case, it's just test table 2. Once again, we're going to select run on pipeline activation. And for the logs, I'm just going to go ahead and select the same. Um, well, I'll just select the export folder here just to put the log to. And at the pipeline role and EC2 instance role, we're going to go ahead and use the same roles that we did for the export. And once again, let's go ahead and select Edit and Architect. We're going to see the same warning as we saw before. So um, we could ignore it, but let's just go ahead and fix it. So we'll do the same thing like last time. We'll add the Terminate After, select minutes and just enter an arbitrary number in this case I'll put 30 so save it then you can activate it and now the pipeline is going to be waiting for a runner to handle this import job so once again this can take a little bit of time so you know just uh, give it a few minutes and we'll wait for the status to be complete All right, now we see that the status is finished. So this means that the import was successful. And if we go back into the DynamoDB table for test table two and refresh, we can now see that it actually has data. Um, and this is the same data that we exported um, into the S3 bucket. So that was it, very simple. I uh, hope you found it useful. And if this is something that you like, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, as it will definitely help me out. So once again, thanks a lot.